So in front of me, we have what I think, in my opinion, is the best 7-7 display that you can possibly make right now. Why? Because this thing is four blocks wide, therefore you can put the numbers right next to each other and it looks really nice. Two, you can make this thing go up and down, you can add and subtract, and you can also add and subtract for each digit. All you have to do is just add an extra input into each module. Three, this thing's modular. You can just copy and paste this thing as much as you want and make it infinitely long if you really want to. And this thing also has an inbuilt carry system, so it carries the numbers. So let's see it working. If we just add one, we will get a number one. And if we subtract, we'll get a zero again. And if we subtract from the three zeros, we can see the carry system in action and we'll get the three nines. And if we just add one, we'll get the three zeros again. So I'm gonna be doing a tutorial in this video. So let's start the tutorial. So for the tutorial, I'm going to be going off a seven segment display that I already made for this and we're going to be building the second one and it's going to be right next to it. So then we can also learn how to make the carry system. So first you want to make a display that looks like this, that looks like a boxy looking eight. And then you want to put blocks around it like this. So first, let's start with the blue circuit. So for the blue circuit, you're going to want these items in your HUD bar. You can pause the video if you want to see what you need. So we're just going to start right away and we're going to go to the back of this. And we're going to go to this bottom segment and we're going to make this little zigzag right here. Oh, I just fell. Okay, now we're going to put three pieces of redstone here and a repeater. And over on these side segments, we're going to put two blocks over here with two repeaters. And we're going to put two more blocks on top of that with two repeaters. And next, what you're going to do is you're going to put two blocks going up from these repeaters and put redstone going into each one. And now you're going to put three blocks over here with three pieces of redstone and you're going to put two blocks here to cut off the circuit and two blocks on top. Now you're going to come to the center and you're going to put a comparator and a cauldron right over above it over here a slime block and put your sticky piston facing downwards and you're going to put two blocks over here two pieces of redstone and a repeater and a piece of redstone and there are segments all done now we have to do a few changes so the slime block doesn't get to stuck anything so you're going to take any form of terracotta or obsidian or any movable object and you're going to replace this block this block and this top block and just replace whatever was on whatever was on that is just redstone so now we're gonna go out 10 blocks from each of these ten blocks there ten blocks there and 10 blocks here. Each of these blocks is going to represent one number and we're going to be coding it with these repeaters and redstone. So on the left side, on this side, you're going to get your repeaters and your redstone and I don't really know how to code it so I'm just going to look back at this. So we're going to put a repeater, two pieces of redstone, another repeater, and you're going to put redstone all the way until the second last block and you're going to leave this last block empty and on the second one you're going to put two pieces of redstone a repeater redstone going all the way to the segment so there's only one repeater here on the right one you're just going to put two repeaters three pieces of redstone a repeater and the rest is going to be redstone and if we just go to the left one we're going to put four pieces of redstone two repeaters and redstone going all the way to the end so we're gonna go down another layer you're gonna put redstone here repeater redstone 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 and a repeater over here so if we just go over here again we're gonna leave this one empty put a piece of redstone three repeaters piece of redstone a repeater piece of redstone, another repeater, and a piece of redstone. 
Now we're gonna go to the last one. We're gonna skip this one. Put two pieces of redstone, a repeater, two pieces of redstone, repeater, three pieces of redstone, and that is the blue circuit completely done. So now we're gonna move on to the green circuit. For the green circuit, you're gonna get these items in your hand. Pause the video if you need to see what you need. Let's get straight to it. So we're gonna go to the back and you're gonna put redstone blocks in line with all the wool blocks that you just placed. So some over here and one over here. And the last one you're gonna put on the top. And in between those redstone blocks, you're gonna put a layer of glass in all of them. And you're gonna put one more down here. So now we're gonna go all the way back to the top and we're gonna take our pistons and we're gonna just go three blocks up and put one facing downwards and you're gonna put them all the way till the end. And next to these pistons, you're gonna put a line of redstone dust and put redstone on top. So we're gonna go to this side first and you're gonna put a hopper diagonal from that redstone block. You're gonna take an observer, put a block in front of that observer and put a block going there and a block going up. You're gonna put a piece of redstone, a repeater on four ticks and a piece of redstone. So we're gonna go to the other side except we're gonna do it a bit differently. So we're gonna put a hopper once again diagonal from this redstone block Observer facing upwards, never mind, that's wrong. Observer facing towards the front, observer facing upwards, and two blocks going like that. Two pieces of redstone and repeater on four ticks. Now you are ready to also have lag and place your pistons. So you're gonna put your pistons over here and if it works properly, the blocks should go down. And we're just gonna put all the pistons here. Uh, blocks are gonna move a lot and cause a lot of lag, but it's okay. So that's the green circuit all done. Now we're gonna move on to the feet tape circuit, which is the red and purple circuit. So these are the items you're gonna need for the piston feet tape circuit. So let's go under again. So we're gonna put a redstone block under the first piston because that is gonna be zero. And we're gonna put a bunch of iron blocks under the rest of the pistons. And we're gonna go again, put a bunch of blocks going back. And this block has to stick out and this block has to be on the second last piston and not here. So now we're gonna put, oh God, a redstone block over here. So then when it cycles again, there's always gonna be at least one piston being activated. And now we're gonna put the pistons that cycle around these blocks. So we're gonna put two pistons facing the back, one towards the side, and one facing the other side like that. And we're gonna go to the back and do the same thing. We're gonna put two pistons facing the front this time, over here, one piece, piston facing the side, and another one facing the other side, like that. So we're gonna go under, and we're gonna take our observers and go under this piston, the one on the left, and put two observers facing up. And we're gonna put two blocks under this with a repeater, which I forgot to get. On three ticks, we're gonna take some redstone dust, put it here, put an observer next to the repeater we're not going to put a block there because that's what's going to activate everything we're going to put a piston diagonal from that observer a block on this piston and an observer facing upwards so that's basically what activates the pistons so we're going to do that on the other side we're going to take our observers and put two of them facing the piston underneath we're going to put three tick repeater with redstone we're gonna take our observer, put our sticky piston facing the side with our observer facing upwards with our block under the piston. Now we're gonna go under and we're gonna put a block 
Now these have to be very specific. Another block on with a repeater on four ticks. Two more blocks with some redstone. And now you're gonna put a slab with some redstone. Two more blocks with redstone, another slab, and two more blocks going into that observer. And you're gonna put four ticks here and two more pieces of redstone there. And that should be your addition circuit. So if we did everything right and we have an observer facing into that redstone, we should get a number one on the display. But now we need a subtraction circuit. So that's gonna be the red circuit. So we're just gonna switch out this purple block for a red block. And under this piston with the redstone block now, we're gonna put a block under it with two more blocks because blocks. Put redstone repeater going into that block with an observer, with a, not an observer, a piece of redstone. You're gonna put three slabs like that with redstone on it. And you're gonna cut off the circuit here. Put another block with another piece of redstone and you're gonna cut off that circuit again. Put a block on top of that redstone and a repeater going into that block. And you're gonna take this and make a line of blocks going into this piston again. And you're gonna put two ticks going into that block and more redstone going into that repeater. And that should be our subtraction circuit all done. So if, wait, no, not it's not done yet. So from this piston with the red block, we're gonna put an observer facing the back observer facing upwards, and observer facing this piston. And we're gonna go to here again, observer, observer, and observer. So now it should be done. We are about to activate it without it being done. Okay, that's a bad thing. So we're just gonna weave our way through this. And we're just gonna put an observer going into this redstone. And before it was a one and now it's a zero again. So that's all the feed tape done and that's basically the entire thing. Now all we have to do is the orange circuit, which is the carry circuit. So let's do that now. So this is gonna be our last circuit and it's the orange circuit or the carry on circuit and these are the items that you need. So we're gonna go to the back here and over at this piece of redstone, we're gonna put a piston and another piston facing towards that piston. And we're gonna put a block here with a redstone block next to it. And now we're gonna take a redstone output out of that and place two blocks going, two, two blocks there with two pieces of redstone. I'm gonna place an orange block again with a sticky piston with a block in its face. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put two pistons facing upwards, two sticky pistons facing downwards, with observers in front of them. In front of them. I can't talk. Why can't I talk? So since this is the second display and not the first one, we're gonna figure out how to carry it on. So you're gonna probably build another display, so follow the tutorial again. And from this point on, you're gonna go to your first display and you're gonna put two hoppers going from those locations. This part may be a bit confusing because you know we're going from one that's already completed. So from the right hopper, you're gonna put an observer facing downwards, observer facing the next display, and an observer facing upwards. And you're gonna put a piece of redstone. From the other display, from the other hopper, you're gonna put an observer facing the back, and an observer facing upward. We're just gonna break that so it doesn't activate. And that should be everything done. So if I did everything correctly, and if you also did everything correctly, we're gonna test this now, and you're just gonna put two observers going into each one of the lines. So if we add one, it's gonna add one. And if we subtract one, it's gonna go to zero. Now let's test the carry-on. Let's subtract one more. And if we did everything right, we should get 99. And we're gonna add one more again. And we get two zeros. So 
that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to make the best seven segment display ever. So if you want to use this in like a timer or a calculator, that's what I first wanted to use this seven segment display for. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I'll see you on the next video.